So in this video we have two problems, one that involves a sphere, one that involves a cone. In question number one we have the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Find the volume of a sphere with radius 3 centimetres, writing your answer as a multiple of pi. So the volume is 4 thirds pi times r cubed. Now r here is 3, so we'll have 3 cubed. Now there are several different routes that you could take to simplify this. Um, we could work out 3 cubed, which is 27, then multiply the 4 by the 27 to divide by 3. We could go about it that way. Or you could spot that actually here we've got 3 cubed and here I'm dividing by 3. So actually I've got a multiplying by 3 and a dividing by 3 that I can just cancel away. So this is the same as having 4 pi times not 3 cubed but 3 squared. I've essentially divided through by 3. Now if you would prefer to have an extra line of working here, you can think of this as having 4 thirds pi, and we know 3 cubed is 3 times 3 times 3. So here I'm dividing through by 3, here I'm multiplying by 3, and I've got rid of 1 each. So I'm left with 4 pi times by 3 squared, which is 9, and so my answer will be 36 pi, and because uh, our radius is in centimetres, the volume will be centimetres cubed. OK, so that's my answer to number one. Right, question number two. The volume of a cone is one third pi r squared h. Find the volume of a cone with base radius 9 centimetres and perpendicular height 11 centimetres, writing your answer as a multiple of pi. So the r is 9 and the h is 11. So the volume is 1 third pi, then we have 9 squared times by 11. 1 third pi r squared h. Now, the first thing to note is that we could do 9 squared times by 11 and then divide by 3. That's probably the most natural way I can spot people doing this. Um, you could do 9 squared, then divide it by 3, uh, and then times it by 11. OK, really depends on uh, how good your arithmetic is and which order you want to do this. So what I'll do is I'll do it the way that I think would probably be the easiest and most people might try. Um, so 9 squared is 81 and then we're timesing by 11. Now I imagine the most natural thing to do here is that people will try and do 81 times 11 and then divide it by 3. Now, I'm not going to do it that way because I know 81's in the 3 times table. Okay, Seeing as 81's in the 9 times table, it must have 3 as a factor. So, 81 divided by 3, you might know what it is. We can do a quick bit of division. 3's into 8 go 2 with 2 left over. Okay, so. 2, 3 is a 6, so we've got 2 left over. 3 is into 21, go 7. So 81 divided by 3 is 27. So this is actually pi times by 27 times 11. These two things are the same. 81 divided by 3 is the 27. So now we need to figure out what 27 times 11 is. Now, you can do this by doing 27 times 10 and then adding on a 27. If you want to do this using long multiplication, then you can do that. 1 times 7, 1 times 2, then we bring in a 0, 1 times 7, 1 times 2, 
Add those two together. 7, 9, 2. So we have pi times 297. So 297 pi. And because we're a volume, we're in centimetres here, this will be centimetres cubed.